Dormitories? I wonder how many people stop at the refuge these days. Up real, like the ones used on old cinema projectors. This must be Yunta's coffer, the one Lenny spoke about. Don't want to break my neck, thank you very much. This must be Lenny's room. Not sure I'm allowed in here, really. Photos of the refuge. Looks like they're arranged by time period. There are no photos of the occupation of Wagen by the Brown Shadow. I guess that corresponds to when Lenny and her father had to leave the refuge. These date from before the war. There's even one from the summer when Dana worked at the refuge. All these photos go up to the 80s, including my date of birth. This series ends at 2002, three years ago, when I began my journey with Oscar and Hans's train.
What now, Fraulein? I was just about to doze off. About Junta's coffer. What about it? Where did the coffer in the loft come from? In fact, Father made it himself during the long winter evenings. He wanted something more elegant and solid than the old family coffer where he kept the takings. So he made the one upstairs, thanks to the techniques he learnt when he worked in the Vorlberg factory in Valadilene. Valadilene in France? That's right. The price Junta paid was equivalent to a month's worth of takings. Money well spent, though, because it was built like a mountain fortress. You wouldn't happen to know the combination, would you? I told you before, I don't know it. I'll be going then. Amazing! Now it shows the view from the terrace.
Wagen Refuge, 1937. Junta's films, taken during the summer Dana worked here. This one says Lenny, director. So I guess Lenny did get to make her film after all. Looks like she didn't note down the end of her meeting with Dana. But it might still contain the info I need to open the coffer. No doubt Yunta must have written this. Summer 1937. The year Dana worked here. Let's see. I filled my last diary last night. Ordered another one, but still waiting for supplies to be delivered to the refuge. Using an old envelope in the meantime. Today, invited Dana for a chat after her shift. I'd like to know what Leon sees in her. I've never seen him so smitten. Thanks for popping up, Dana. How did the shift go? Fine. Same as usual. Just finishing up here, then I'll make us a nice cup of tea. Wow, that looks futuristic. What is it? Ah, that little baby is my viewer. That's why it goes in the coffer. What does it do? I use it to put together and edit the rushes. The what? <laughs> rushes. In other words, the strips of unedited footage. I've finished today's selection, so be a dear and put it in the coffer, would you? I would if I knew how. Oh, just turn the key in the lock. Dana, be a darling and put the key somewhere safe. You can't be too careful with these mountain people, especially with that little Lenny sniffing around my equipment all the time. Where do you normally put it? I have a little hiding place over there. Is this where you want me to put the key? Yes, there's a dear. It's a handy hiding place. Who made it? Oh, Herr Gustav. He knows only too well that some customers have their little secrets, you know. Just need to finish preparing for the filming tomorrow. Then we can chat away to our heart's content. If you could just fetch me a new roll of film from the darkroom, then we're done. Hmm, 
I'll need a key to open it. Where can I find the combination for the mechanism? I love your photos. Ah, well, they each represent an element of mountain wildlife and flora I've photographed recently. I use them as a sort of checklist. A checklist, huh? The screen is in the way.
interesting footage. Let's see what's on the other reel. Lenny didn't say she filmed a fight between Dana and Leon. I'd better go back and see her to find out about it. Demoiselle Lenny, 
I saw the film you shot of Dana and Leon. So Junta kept it. She got so cross when she discovered I'd rummaged through her stuff. She most certainly had secrets of her own, that one. I know it was ages ago, but can you recall what happened between Dana and Leon that day? You do like flogging a dead horse, don't you, Fraulein? But as you please. Since Junta never let me use her camera, I decided not to ask her anymore. Like that, she couldn't say no, could she? And that's when I heard them arguing. How could you agree to this, Leon? How could you? I told you, I had no choice. The local guide for Baltayar can't do it anymore. He got injured. Why don't you just refuse then? It's their stupid expedition, not yours. Look, Dana, I didn't want to tell you, but... But what? Frank Huss, that brute from the other night. He's the one that made the call here. In other words, he's taking revenge by sending me to the other side of the world with the Origin Expedition. And he said that if I refused, something might happen. Not just to me, but to you as well. What do you mean? You know what I mean. You're a Vagarian and so are your parents, right? Well, Huss says it won't be long before the Brown Shadow is in power and he made it clear that something was brewing and that you and your parents would be first on the list. What list? I don't know, but it can't be good. Then he said that other Vagarians would follow. Dear God. Damn it, darling. The world's gone crazy. Promise. Promise me you'll be very careful. It will be all right if you just watch yourself and what you say. I've asked Junta to stand by you just in case. It won't be long, darling. Half a school year at the Music Academy. I'll be home for Christmas. Promise. Oh, come here now, my pretty Edelweiss. Don't call me that. You know I don't like it. It's true, though. That's exactly where you are, my pretty Edelweiss. If you keep that up, Leon Kobatis, I'll find you a nickname, too. <laughs> Go on, then. All right. I'll call you my mountain artist from now on. You've got a flair for names, I see. I like it. Beautiful, isn't it? I could stay here forever. There, Fraulein Walker. That is all I have to say. I hope this time you have what you need to continue on your journey. Thank you, Demoiselle Lenny. But there is just one more thing. You mentioned a music academy? They must have ledgers and archives. Maybe I'll be able to find out whether Dana left an address there. Well, it hasn't moved. It's still in Vargen. Go to the Musicians' District. It's right next to the Musical Square. That's all I can tell you. So if you don't mind, Fraulein. Thank you. Then that's where I'll continue my search. Is it really worth your while to keep looking for Dana? Is it not just another pipe dream, Fraulein? I get the impression there have been others. I prefer to look at it as a calling. Besides, I don't have much choice. Thanks to you, she's a part of me now. As you wish. I hope you find what you are looking for. Thank you. Again.
I've got everything I need from here, I guess. Best get back to the guest house. Get some rest. I'll go to the Music Academy first thing in the morning.